Okay, here we are. Week six. Deep spring. <laughs> Deep spring. Andy got totally prepared. She was on it. She's got her meal plan set out, mm -hmm. which is awesome. But I love that thing that Eric said. What did he say? If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that true? Um, Andy, did you make the mayonnaise and the Caesar dressing? I have not yet. That's all tomorrow. Um, so I went and got everything yesterday, but I'd been on call the night before. So I just crashed in the afternoon. And then today I didn't even get home from work. I usually get home between 3.30 and 4 and I didn't get home until almost 5. So I've just, mm -hmm. things are kind of stacked up. So tomorrow's my day to make everything and I cannot wait. I'm nice. So You're going to love it. It's going to change everything because First of all, having mayonnaise is important, and having Caesar dressing is amazing. That's what I'm thinking. Like, the two of those things, I'm going to just be dipping all sorts of stuff in there. Like, I cannot wait to just slather it on. So I, ha I have to put up the recipe for the garlic spread because you can make a North Beach deli sandwich with lettuce. You'll eat this, you know, you use romaine. And when you eat this thing, you feel like there is nothing taken away from you. Okay, post it. We need it. <laughs> okay, I'll put it. I, yeah, I want that too. I'm a garlic lover for sure, so I it, can't. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. And I just made Andrea a sandwich um, yesterday. Your special deadly sandwich? <laughs> yes, and here she is, so she can tell us about it. <laughs> Hi, whoopsie. Hi. I totally didn't even know what was going on. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm supposed to be in a meeting. <laughs> That's because of daylight savings time. Oh, okay. Let me do a bit. Am I supposed to be on? Oh, there I am. Yay. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. Hey, tell them about your belly sandwich. Um, I went to Sandy's and to bring her some seeds and say hi and tell her that how much I wanted to smoke and drink. <laughs> And then um, she made me a sandwich, and it was um, on, uh, on, sorry, I have to gather myself because I was just um, trying to get here really quick. Um, romaine, will you help me, Sandy? And she was on red, was romaine, romaine lettuce. lettuce. Yeah. On, so long strips homemade, of, yeah. yeah. Homemade yeah. mayo. Homemade mayo, and then this pesto was. Um, did you already tell them about the pesto and everything? Garlic yeah. pesto. Yeah, garlic. And, and the pesto had uh, uh, Italian parsley, garlic, and olive oil. And no, so, no, grape seed. Oh, grape seed. Sorry. Well, and then um, she had homemade pickles and these tomatoes. And so she she put the spread on one side and the mayo on the other side, or vice versa, or all or something. Anyway, she gave me these two halves, and I roll. And there was avocado, and I rolled them into like a little burrito thing, and it was outstanding, spicy, and the most full of flavor thing that I've had in a month. Yay! And super refreshing. Yeah. Okay, post that recipe, Sandy. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll post the uh, garlic recipe. I'll post the how to make a, how to make a North Beach deli sandwich. Yay! And, Perfect. Um, I, I broke my ninja. I blew it uh, out right now oh. making, making pesto. So, um, and my pesto sucked. It was totally bitter. Now, why is that? Why I don't know bitter? because I just did that too, and mine was also. And I don't know if it was maybe the garlic was bitter. That's the only thing I can think. I just made some, and it's. I bitter. know. I I'm just like, made some right now. I was now first. so mad. I was too. <laughs> and then I tasted the the, the basil, and it was fresh. It tasted fine. Yeah, I just bought the basil fresh as nugget, and I, I don't know. I wonder if there's like some bad garlic going around. Or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm I, so bummed because it was like. Well, I just put it, Melanie. You can cook with it. I just gave it to the kids. They can just put it in their pasta sauce or whatever. Taste the oil because sometimes oil can. Well, go that's rain. what I was thinking. Maybe my oil. But I tried the oil it. too, and it was fine. I tasted the oil, and it didn't. Is have it because it doesn't have cheese in it? Is that why? No. I use no. I use walnuts. I never. I never put cheese in mine. Okay. The last time we made it, I mean, I was, I literally took a spoonful. <laughs> I was like nibbling on it. It was so delicious. I know. What, I wonder and if. I the, yeah, I, I have know. no idea. 
I don't know what, what, what went wrong there. I mean, it's very basic and simple and it just, I was angry because I'm like, I just have all the stuff. Anyway, I broke my thing. So I guess it's time to get one of those fancy blenders. What are they called? The Nutribol uh, or the, yeah. um, the Vitamix? Vitamix. Vitamix, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm going to have to sell my butt in West Sack to get there, one of those suckers. I mean, I waited. I got like the Christmas special, uh -huh. like super discount, but it was still like 300 bucks. Ooh. But I used it yeah, they're, they're, they're expensive. They're expensive. There's it's some kind of fakey ones, though, that are maybe comparable. They they mentioned mentioned they're Blend, good. Tech, Blend Tech, and then um, Blend Tech might work as well. Okay. How or much look for them like like uh sometimes there's rebuilt ones or you know right i'm gonna look around but i have to hurry up because i don't i didn't make my um drinks for tomorrow so let's see what's up i might have to make them in the blender yeah just to get by yeah that'll be all right um let's start check-ins guys okay. how's how's uh let's start andy b with your first let's go with you so um you're I feel good. I um, will admit that I had a banana last night before I went to bed. I don't like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if I just got worried about the sweets or whatever, but it just looked really good. And I just ate a banana. Did uh, you start earlier or did you st no. start today? I meant to go shopping Saturday, but it like was raining all day long and we'd had rugby in the morning and then we were all just cold and wet. So I just came and hunkered down. So I didn't go shopping until Sunday. And so everything got delayed, but I, I totally planned on going on Sunday, but I didn't really go really crazy with fruit or anything on Sunday anyways. So um, I had like a little bit of pineapple in the morning and then I had that banana at night just for whatever. I don't know. Like I was trying to sit there and think like, why do you really want a banana? I was like, I just really want a banana. And that's as far as I got. And I, I knew it was like at night and it was whatever, but it was like eight o'clock and I hadn't eaten since like five, four or five. There really wasn't anything in my system, but I was like, I just... Mm -hmm. So then, but if you were going to cheat, it was better to do it yesterday or the, before you started yeah. deep spring. That's what I figured. It's like, okay, it's my last one. We're good. We're done. Got out of my system. And then even this morning, I was so used to getting those big fruit salads every morning. And I just kind of laced past through it. And I had um, Alcatrazer that I'd made yesterday morning. So I had the other half of it this morning, big, huge jar. And, um, wasn't able to, to drink all of it. Like I drank a lot of it. And I'm actually probably going to have some, the rest of it tonight. Um, and then I planned my lunch and I took it with me to work and I'm already almost done with my water and I've already had dinner, my little nice. egg roll in a bowl thing that I made. And I saw that. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, I feel okay. Like, you know, I, I don't feel bad. My, it's funny because he'd mentioned like cramps in the legs and I, it, Finally, I guess we like, I had a really bad calf muscle that I pulled um, like over a year ago that healed kind of funky. And usually it's okay, but I want to say like the last day or so, it's been a little tender. And I don't know if it's already, you know, with the diet changes or whatever, but I have magnesium oil in a spray bottle that I think I'm going to like put on it and it absorbs real good, you know, and everything. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm already missing that magnesium or, or something like that. So. But either from, way, what I, from what I understand is you start taking the sugars out of your diet and then we start, um, our body starts feeding on the fat rather than the sugar, the fuel. And the it goes for the fat. Once the sugar leaves, it starts to go, it tries to pull sugar from the muscles. I, mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure about this, but this is what another coach just told me. So that's what causes the cramping. And mm. so, um, it, it, it should, um, it should get a little bit better, but, um, the magnesium is great. Yeah. It is. It's really great. And taking baths too, or is, is a wonderful way to do it. And some people actually do it orally. You just have to make sure you get, you know, a lot of them are flavored and, so, oh, so we can take a magnesium supplement for a short period of time or something? You can if you're having really, yeah, really bad cramps. And somebody told me that it helps with headaches also. Um, I'm not sure if that's true. But, but do you think we should wait until we get cramps or should we take the, I mean, it's. 
Um, um, you know, when I was in, I did take, he, he prefers that you do it um, not internally, but uh, I did yeah. take, I did take magnesium. I did the calm that was the non-flavored. It tastes really chalky and, you know, but um, I have, I, I think it's fine. I share with you, Andrea. Well, I just bought some Epsom salts. Does yeah, that, that doesn't I, that doesn't give you as much magnesium as the spray does. Okay. I don't know okay. why, but I a, a girlfriend of mine was telling me to you know, get the spray because you can't absorb as much. Mm -hmm. But I have a whole bottle. I'll just give you half of it, and you can put it in one of your squirt bottles. Thanks. You only need like you can put it like under your armpits, um, and, and it'll absorb. Little, yeah, it'll it's a little awesome. sticky, but that's like the best place to put it. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple squirts under your arm. So, and like okay. Andy, you can put it directly on your leg too. Like yeah. Yeah. your calf is hurting. Mm -hmm. Or maybe behind your knee or whatever too. That seems like a delicate spot. Maybe that it would be absorbable. Sure. Kind of yeah. like an armpit a little bit. Yeah, when I first pulled my calf, that's I was using it. I was doing Epsom salt baths and then I read up on it and they're like, you can get the magnesium oil and it will soak right into it. So I'll start using that again and get that on my calf and stuff. But Did I've that been, help you? It did, did help, you? yeah. Good, good. Yeah. So it I also just, helps you sleep really good yes, too. Yes, and that's also why I was taking it too. So I'd go to bed, I'd spray it on my legs, so there's like no restless leg and my, you know. Oh, good one. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So I, you do notice it. Yeah, and I have like the little spray bottle. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, I like that. If you do start, you just quit the sugar. The the fruit today yesterday so everyone's different but you might feel some down you might feel some sugar withdrawals you might feel some sugar cravings because you were having a lot of sugar I mean I yeah. mean pretty good amount of sugar yeah um so just be aware of that uh right now you guys all know about flipping the switch and we're trying to go into deep spring we're trying to go into fat burning mode and just remember the 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 sugar monster still is there and if you fall to one little bite of rice or one mm -hmm. little piece of bread you know it's 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 going to slow things down and if you're if you've already flipped it's going to it, it could turn it off and you have to start over, you know? So yeah. that, that helped me a lot with, you know, psychologically not taking that bite. Like, is it really worth take, going back three days to have this one little bite? So, so that is kind of a, a little incentive not to. Mm -hmm. And once it, it, it's going to take two days, usually by the weekend, the most of the group is is into high energy like they're feeling the energy for sure some people get it instantly some people it's kind of gradual but you are going to feel an energy boost and you're going to start feeling pretty awesome so if 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 you haven't already gotten there you just started sandy have you gotten there are you feeling tons of energy again i just started today oh good she just took a nap. She has no energy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because I didn't see half the time. I'm teaching. <laughs> and you're right. And I'm kind of still in bed. <laughs> yeah. Just remember the food, the food isn't about the calories. It's about the message that it's sending to your body. So just keep that clear in your head before you're, before you, you take that bite or that, and that once you do take a little bit of sugar of any form, that sugar monster is going to go crazy. It's going to get all of a sudden it's going to be bam. And you're going to start craving more, more bread or more pasta or more sugar. So if you can right now, we're here, we're getting the big results. So stick it out and just this week is might be kind of hard, but just keep talking to yourself and, and stick it out. Yep. Well, since we were getting the little amount of sugar daily, that is pretty. I mean, for, I I didn't get morning at all. It was like whatever, you know. Really, that's awesome. Yeah. 
I'm glad that you're getting energy again because I, I know the or how are how well let me finish Andy first. <laughs> I'll get back to I'm curious how you guys are doing with your other your other stuff that you took out. Um, how how's all your cravings and all that, Andy? Are you doing okay? Are you? Yeah, I I am. Like today, um, like I said, I I missed the fruit bowl more yesterday than I did today. Like today. And I think it's probably because I know how ketosis works where it is. It's one slip up and it's almost like starting back to zero because you want your body in that constant state as long as possible. And it's almost like the longer you're in it, the faster and more that you can lose. And so I, I am definitely, you know, in the zone on that and, and in my mindset. And um, I found paleo bacon at Sprouts um, and, you know, completely compliant. There's two different varieties of course it's not like a huge pound of it so, and it's so it's pricey and everything but I was like you know what if I'm gonna want bacon if I'm gonna make those greens that Paula posted then I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it and I mm -hmm. kind of put the switch of yeah it might be more expensive to eat this way and and you know than it was before but I'm making it worth it like that's it to me it's worth it it's what I'm gonna do it's how I'm gonna live it's how I'm gonna eat and it's nice and if you add up all the the other little things that we were buying, donuts or even milk or butter or, you know, it, it adds up anyway. quick, exactly. It adds up really quickly. And if you think, yeah. you know, you, you wouldn't have thought twice about buying a junk food that was yeah. eight bucks, but eight bucks for some bacon. Yeah, Although bacon, I have to say bacon is not ideal. It is, it is acceptable, but we don't want you to eat a, all the time. You know, you know, and that was going to be my question is, so Paula posted that recipe and she said she used either um, ham or bacon. Now, most ham is going to be cured with some sort of sugar. Um, right. It's like a smoked ham, but even so, and so I thought, well, you know what? I never really tried greens this way. And so I'm going to have to have bacon to flavor it, you know, just to get me through the hump and stuff until I can flavor it with just like lemon or whatever. Um, and because I'm kind of hoping that if I make it that then my husband and my son will eat it. I doubt you it. Can also, mm -hmm. part of it, Andy. I can what? You can freeze part of the bacon. You know the yes. uncooked. Yeah. Just so. because I, I buy the paleo one too, and it's mm -hmm. very expensive. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I feel good. Like I, I think I feel so good because I have a plan. Like I literally have my menu. Like I have my grocery list, and on the back is my menu. So every when I go to the grocery store, I get everything I need, and then I save it. And on the back is my list, and and I'm just going straight down and and making everything. I'm really excited to make jerky because we all love jerky here. So I'm so excited oh to my make gosh. The jerky. Yeah. So. Nice. Very cool. And you can use a little bit of soy sauce too. To, well, to, the coconut aminos would still work, right? Yeah, it would. Yeah. yeah, it definitely would. Yeah, right now I think I'm just gonna do like salt and pepper, keep it simple, and see how it turns out. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Perfect. That's a good little little snack. Um, it's amazing. So, are you guys still noticing like 80 percent of the of the um, food in North America it has sugar in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, and I just want you guys to keep noticing that. I mean, it's kind of hard not to when we're in deep spring, but um, it's something that that just to uh, to always keep in mind. I mean, it's really pretty disgusting that 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 can be our food source, but but it is the reality. And um, okay, one one more question, and then I'm done. Guar yeah, gum. Yeah. So guar gum is obviously a thickener, and mm -hmm. I'm finding it in just about everything. And so if it's got it in it, I'm like not even getting it. You know, like I'm like, all right, well that's something that's being added. But do we have to like completely avoid it or or should we or like I am right now, but I was like, dang, like that takes out a lot of stuff as well because you know, and I understand like the whole point of it is to make it all ourselves and do everything, our but sometimes you just need that quick something you know right I, while you're in deep spring i would suggest not doing it um you know if 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 it ha if it gets in a li it, it it does it I, it's made from a root vegetable also okay. that's the big concern is depending on i would suggest not doing it starting out the things that that are a little bit on the sweet side 
or have something like that, I would suggest going in, getting into Deep Spring first and then trying little, adding little things. Um, I'll let you make that call yourself. Okay. But, you know, even with like um, tomatoes, definitely you don't want to eat a huge amount of tomatoes right now. Oh, I love tomatoes. If you yeah. do, yeah, but Sandy, I know, you're, they're... I mean, you're, you're, you might be able to handle them. You'll just have to see. You could just keep eating them. And if you're not switching, I mean, if you are switching, then just keep doing it. How, I do, you know when, how do you know when you're switching? Like what happens? It, it's, it, you, your body starts changing really quickly. You, you get this weird, almost metallic taste in your mouth. You get like this huge burst of energy. Um, for inches. A, I saw it when I yeah. did it the one time, your inches, like I just shrunk. A um, lot of people just, especially if you need to lose weight, you'll just drop weight pretty quickly. Yeah. Like you'll see like within a day or two, all of a sudden it's like, wow, like it, it is that quick. And then yeah, like, like, more days, the more days that you're able to keep yourself in that state, um, the better. But with diabetes. No, what about with diabetes? Will that would, because my glucose is, you know, naturally goes higher. I mean, I'm taking insulin, uh, half of the insulin I was already. So I'm imagining that's going to go down. But I'm just wondering with diabetes, can you still flip the switch i mean i don't know yeah absolutely i mean we've had we've had diabetics and pre-diabetics come in and absolutely flip the switch and completely okay. change their lives turn their lives completely around yeah okay good oh what about horseradish I'm pretty sure horseradish is out. I need to double check that. Uh -huh. Let me write it down. I know. I, I oh, read it. It's, it's out. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it is. Poopy. I know. <laughs> I know. Also, it's a root yep. also. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what we had a conversation today. I'm like, wait a minute. Is it a root? What is canola? What the hell is canola? It's, uh, I can't, I can't recall exactly. Is it a thing? Is it a, is it? gnarly processed not good for you at all. Like, I don't think it's a canola yeah, it bean a, or something. I think it's like- Is it a bean or a plant or is it something that I they- I think it's mostly chemical. I'm not yeah. sure. That's no, it's an, actual, it's an actual plant of some sort, oh, okay. but it's a bean or a plant, but because it's vegetable oil, but it's but it, icky. The, chem the chemical process that it goes through totally destroys it and it totally makes- Totally genetically modified too. Yeah, it's most it's of it. Not good for you. Yeah. Why in the world would people? Why and a lot of companies seem to be really good. Use it. Like I just think they're still in the dark about it. Or it's cheap. It's there's cheap. so many other oils. It's just silly. Well, look yeah, at the advertising. Look at the canola commercials. Look mm -hmm. at all the advertising. It's the same. I mean, why is sugar so prevalent in all of our food? It's yeah, but I'm talking about a company that's making it. Like, it seems like they would be It's super savvy. inexpensive, and it's considered vegetable uh, oil, and that's why. So but I, it's, it's I bad. I just picked it up on my phone just to see, and it's made from a vegetable oil derived from rape seed, R-A-P-E, rape seed. Ooh, whatever that is. I know. <laughs> I, know right? I don't know if there's a rape plant out there or not. <laughs> I don't even like the word. I know. <laughs> See, right there, I'm already turned off. I'm done. Yeah, me too. It's a plant that's three to five feet tall that has pods that they make canola oil. Yeah. There you mm. go. Weird. So you yeah. guys, um, I don't know if any of you like seaweed. You can eat seaweed. I was just trying to make a little, think of a few little snacky snacks, you know? That you can have. I mean, I know you guys already have a lot of ideas, but um, the little seaweeds, as long as they don't have sugar or something added, a lot of times it's just plain seaweed. I think they have them at Trader Joe's too. Are you if, guys getting fully fast? Yeah. 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 No, not yesterday, but yeah, today I did. 
I had, I mean, like I had my alkalizer and then I went to work and I didn't have anything for till noon. So I had it like, it was probably like three hours and I ate one hard boiled egg and I brought two and I was that's getting ready. And exactly I was what I did totally today. full, totally. Full. I couldn't I even have, eat the, I, the other one. Yes. It was I weird. Half my bowl, I mean like a, just a standard like cereal bowl size of my egg roll thing. Uh -huh. And I eat half of it and the other half sitting here on the table. Like I'm like, Meh. isn't that weird? I'm a finisher. Yeah. I eat yeah. all of everything. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Just was wondering. Yeah. That's, That's cool. weird. Like I'm drinking a lot. My like, stomach I'm... is shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I'm filling exciting. up with water at this point because I'm like, oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm hungry. Who's yeah. Meant? So. Nice. Yeah. I love it. Well, North America, we all eat way, way more than we ever yeah. need to and it's just kind of a habit but make sure though that you're not going to let yourself get hungry so don't get past that point of low blood sugar yeah. so even if you're not feeling hungry through the day right. maybe nibble on some stuff because we're not counting calories here at all we're we want to make sure that you you're not telling your body that winter is here again because you don't have any food and then that'll right off too well, I ate it in I ate it in an hour. I just had to. It was just to yeah. It was yeah. just weird that that was enough. That my body's like you're okay. That's good. Yep, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like all right. How are you? Uh, I don't see Sandy. Andrew, see, that's you? because my water fell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. Um, how are you doing with? The cigarette and the alcohol, is that still oh, me? Well, I, I don't me? I don't drink alcohol, so that's cinch. And then um, as far as the cigarettes go, I'm not smoking at all, but I am chewing Nicorette gum a little bit because... Not uh, tobacco. <laughs> no, no, I'm it sounded like you said that. you were chewing. Just taking a dip. You just take <laughs> a open <laughs> egg. <laughs> Yeah, and so, that's going that's going okay. Yeah, I, I I'm bummed that I'm chewing some gum, but I I'm going through some crazy stuff right now and I will be absolutely hysterical. And so I'm just weaning myself off of that now, but I'm not smoking at all. So that's Sandy and I haven't had a cigarette for um twelve days. Good oh no, I haven't had one for twelve days. So she's might be like ten I've been eight 10. days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good for both. I haven't had a cigarette or a beer or a coffee for twelve days. That's amazing. No coffee. Yeah, and but, no but coffee. What's, what's crazy is because we've been hydrated and we have nutrients. Mm -hmm. it, even he said on the video yeah. today, like, did you find that the coffee or the caffeine withdrawals were easier? Totally easier. It yeah. was. I didn't even have those at all. I had zilch. I had them, but it was, it was super cinched compared to what I've been through in the past. I mean, it scared me into drinking coffee every day. Yeah. And now I don't That's drink terrible no caffeine. And you're doing okay. You're not having serious cravings or anything. You're past that. None. I'm not having. I had an emotional little breakdown yesterday, and I wanted uh, cake, alcohol, and I don't even drink. And I mean, I don't even want to drink or like to drink, but I wanted everything. I wanted a cigarette really bad yesterday. Um, but I, I was like, but I'm going into sp spring tomorrow. Why would I do that? And so I didn't, Good but I you. definitely wanted to, and, but it was all emotional. I mean, I had real sugar cravings that were emotional and I know they were only emotional. Isn't that crazy how much pull those emotional things have on us and yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I have emotional problems every day anyway because I'm, I'm never going to stop grieving. But there are days when, uh, like, I was watching um, um, fried green tomatoes, and I never even realized this part. But there's the part where the old lady's talking about having a son, and there was something wrong with him when he was born, and so they talked about um, taking him away, and she said, and I held him. And uh, he was he was the most beautiful human being, and he died when he was thirty. And I, I, she loved every day with him. And my daughter passed when she was thirty, and I just lost it. No, no, like tears, slow tear drops. I just went from 
you know, being my uh, normal in denial self to hysterical, you know, and, um, you know, and then a whole bunch of other crazy stuff happened afterwards. And I just felt like flying off the wagon, but I didn't do it. I didn't. And Andrea is a big help for that because we talked about it. Um, You're a big help for me too. The thing is, Sandy and I could bit like we'll call and we'll bitch to each other. But excuse my language, but about you know, I mean, I feel like I want to do that, but when I visualize myself doing it, then I'm like, that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm like, so when's this three months up so I can party? <laughs> but then we <laughs> talk about it. I, but three months. I don't even feel like that, you know. I mean, so it's just talk. It's like. It's like when you go to, if I imagine someone who had to go to AA or something, they'd talk about how they wanted to drink every time they went there. But then they, you know, they didn't do it. And then they got their chip or whatever they get, you know. But I really don't, I really don't want to light up and inhale and, you know, I don't want to do the whole thing, I don't think. I mean, the fact that I'm questioning it, it's like, you know, when I pass the bread or the, or the anything, like I smell it. And I'm like, okay, there it is. But I don't want to put it in my mouth. It's weird. That's I like to do that too. I like to smell everything. Can I yeah. just smell? Mm -hmm. I know. Whatever it takes to get us through, right? I got to get that cinnamon tea though. Yes. I got to, I mean, I really, I, I, the cinnamon would be, yes. God, that just sounds so It's fabulous. so good. It's I haven't seen it anywhere yet. I got to go out tea searching again. <laughs> I, I've been drinking chamomile lavender. Is lavender okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. Thank goodness. That's a good. Hi, Corey. For the first Hi, time, and only friend. I only woke up once and peed last night, and I slept all through the night. Just saying. Yay. I think it's, I think it's because um, only today I only had a quarter of an apple. That was it. And this morning I'd lost one pound. And I've been one. Ask yeah, so I think I already am like clicking over because I've been stuck at 62 for months. Yeah, so I'm now I got up and I was 161, and I'm like, shut up. That <laughs> I lost three quarters of that apple, and that made a big difference or something. <laughs> but when I did it on Friday, Saturday, I was a grumpy because I was like, I want my apple and my whatever, and I didn't. I. I don't know. I didn't realize it was going to bum me out that bad. You know what I mean? The, lo the no fruit. So anyway. Right, right. Whoever's, yeah. Once it, once you get past it, it's way, way easier. Mm. So have you, uh, do you have any other things that, you, that ha do you have more energy or do you have, um, I guess Sandy and I are sharing this check. All right, go, Sandy. Do you have any more more energy? Oh well, I'm a different human being already. Um, that's clear just from being, starting the program to mm -hmm. today. I'm a different person already. Um, I have way more energy, and I don't nap usually. I like I did today because I lack of sleep. But I, um, I my position is brighter. Um, my friend told me that, and I yeah, know. Yeah, it is, and I didn't use well, those I, fabulous I, words, but that is I'm what I genuinely, meant. <laughs> I'm genuinely a positive person, but I've been sick for years and heartbroken, so I'm not super uh, spunky or happy most of the time, but I feel great. I mean, physically, I feel great. I really do. Okay. I'm looking towards feeling better um, with this whole thing, and also, I, I hope that I... I never go back to all that crap that I'm not eating. And if you fall, you have the tools to get right back on the horse, you know? And you got a friend over here, too. Yep. You got a bunch of friends over here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Well, good. You look great. It's good to see you smiling again. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bummed about the coffee and the cigarettes, but it's okay. That's a hard one. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's, those are two of the things I wanted to quit the most sugar and those two things, you know, <laughs> I'm fully screwed again, but <laughs> the process crap being out of my life. And here you are 12 days in. 
Woohoo! Nick, uh, nicotine yeah. and ca caffeine free. Oh, Corey's there. Yeah, yes, I'm late. Hi. Hi. You just Hi. got here. I just, Hi, well, everyone. I can't, you guys don't all fit on my screen. And then I have to scroll to see That's if how it other is. people. Um, is it? Yeah. Andy, I forgot to, oh, Sandy, did you, have you lost, have you checked to see if you've, your pants, you said, were fitting different, right? Well, I'm wearing a size smaller already, and uh, I, um, and my upper stomach's going down. So I've only lost two pounds, but that's, you know, I usually, even though I'm a crazy guy who's out of control most of the time, not now, um, my weight doesn't fluctuate much. It's just my stomach blows up really big. You know that unhealthy diabetic stomach where the upper mm -hmm. part is big? Um, yeah, I have that, but it's almost gone. That's great. That's awesome. Um, and we're still not, we're still just starting deep spring. So that's amazing. Well, when I pulled the sugar out, that's when my, I mean, the processed sugar, that's when. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, what about you? Have you, your clothes fitting looser? Have you noticed any? A little bit. I, other people are noticing it. And I've been meaning to say when I first said that I had lost the eight pounds, I actually had only lost four. What I had done is I had gained four pounds during the first like two weeks or stuff, lost those four pounds, lost another four pounds, and now I've lost another three pounds. Oh, cool. So for my starting cool. weight, yes, yeah, so I've, lo I've, I've lost 11 from this whole thing, but from my start weight to now, I've lost seven. seven. So hey, that's people awesome. Are seeing it. Yeah, people are seeing it, and and yeah, my pants are feeling better, and and my shirts around my chest are better. So yeah, definitely seeing it. That's great. So this week is uh, sometime this week. Whether you posted your pictures and your measurements or kept them for yourself, do it again. We're at the midpoint, so. Uh, just see where your measurements are and where your weight's at and uh, post it or at least keep track of it for yourself or, you know, in the, in the page. Yay. I'm curious to see where, uh, where everyone's at and you can do it anytime during the week. Just, mm -hmm. um, we'll just keep track of that. Corey, how are you doing? Huh? Uh, well, um, let's see. Today hasn't been my very favorite day of all the days. Uh, I think that the time change was, I don't know. Oh yeah. It just that made was. for a, a, a little bit of a, um, the middle schoolers were a little, um, amok today. Um, but I am, I'm fine with no fruit. Uh, I'm not craving fruit. I I'm craving chocolate for the first time since I started this whole thing, but I, was able to let it go. I just made a joke about it. I mean, it wasn't like serious, but I do have to tell you guys something. Um, I'm going to end up a little bit behind because look, because I have been having coughing fits that are like, they're insane. And the only way I can reel it in is a cough drop and it has sugar and I'm freaking out about it. Like I really like I rushed home. I know I'm late, but I rushed home to talk to you guys because I, 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 don't really have another choice. Like I can't sleep at night unless I have a cough drop in my mouth and I can't teach and I can't, <clears throat> every time I talk loud at all, it just starts. And is, so it a, is it the mentholatum or something from the cough drop? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can go to like the, the herbal <laughs> section of somewhere and get some <laughs> of that, of some kind of a mentholatum meat, something that you can Without that wouldn't it. have sugar or maybe or just um yeah i'll anyway. research if there's anything that's um yeah because it's okay, that cooling that that cools the yeah, cough it is. right that's what it yeah, is yeah yeah and so there's something sleep. yeah and you know um do you have the vix um mm -hmm. do you breathe does that help when you breathe been, that in a no, little bit i've been covering my whole neck with it and stuff and oh it's not it helping helps for a little bit but yeah you know, okay it's I just um it's not just, enough. no, but maybe there's something that I'm not seeing. These are the healthiest ones I could find, but still they've got sugar. So I'm super bummed. And that started, I had to start using them yesterday. So I'm just, I'm just bummed about that. Let yeah. me, I'm going to research and see what else there might be <laughs> for, um, a cough that <clears throat> might be able to help you. And, okay. um, you know, you got to do what you got to do when I you, know. As soon as 
drink tons of water, um, get off them as quick as you can. Totally. And if you can find any other remedy that <coughs> helps at all. I'm going to say pineapple actually helps with a sore throat, but I don't know what helps with a cough. No. Um, it um, is it a tickly, is it a tickly cough that like makes you just have a cough? That, is yeah. it that sort of a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you get in your shower and just steam the, just turn on your shower and close the bathroom and close the window and turn off the fan and crank it and get it all steamy <laughs> so you can breathe the I probably steam. can. Or um, just put a towel over the sink and get the sink all hot and steamy and just sit on a chair and breathe the, you know, breathe yeah. the steam in. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't feel sick at all anymore. I just, it's just the cough. It's just. Yeah. But it's to the extent where, where, and when I'm at work and stuff, it, that's when it's right. Um, so, I uh, I will see what else I can find, and I'll do that. And um, if we find anything, I'll post or I'll send yeah, you a, thing. a message or, any, or whatever. Any kind of tea or something, but just try and get off of those as quick as you can. I know, because you know you're not going to be able to get into Deep Spring. I know. It's not going to switch if you're on. Just traditional medicinals make like a, uh, um, <coughs> they might make a breathe easy. It's a, but it, it's. Oh it's, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they might have something like, um, camphor or something in there in the tea. Um, but yeah, that's, they have breathe easy. Um, I guess gypsy cold care has something in it that we can't have, but it might be better than cough drops. Yeah. But I think that the, the, the breathe easy might work better for you for what's happening with you. It's yeah. Okay. Look, just look try. it up. Traditional medicinals, breathe easy and see what's in there. Can you, can you guys hear? Hold on. I'm sorry, but I just need like one moment of pity. Okay. Just one. Okay. Listen. Oh, you're wheezing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have a humidifier? What? Do you have a humidifier? Um, no, I have an oil diffuser. I can buy a humidifier. Well, if you can afford it, it wouldn't yeah. hurt to have it in your room. <laughs> but, exactly. but remember, after you're done using it, dump it out so that you don't let water sit in it. The oil diffuser okay. might not be the best thing for you right now, Okay. actually. You so want steam. I, I would suggest going and breathing the steam. <laughs> okay. Give that a shot. Yeah, because I know the kind of cough you're talking about. It's yeah, not it's fun. really frustrating. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like an allergic kind of cough. It's, it's yeah, it's almost and, like do I have it, pneumonia? Yeah. It feels like there's. I feel like I'm drowning or something. Yeah. But, well, um, when my dad just was here with this horrible cough, and like they were checking him out to see if he had pneumonia, I kept telling him to get in the shower. And when he we, he finally went to the doctor, they're like, "You need to take a steamy shower." And I'm like, "Told you." <laughs> so okay. I'll take steamy yeah. showers. Yeah, just do, do that and see tomorrow. what happens. I want to get off of them. I don't want to be on. I'm super, super I know. sad. So okay, okay. There's Thank plenty of other friends. stuff. You can find something. <laughs> so you've, sure. been, you've been feeling crappy all weekend. You were feeling not so great oh, yeah. on Friday. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I feel better energy wise. Yeah. Good. Um, I Whoops. I feel way better, but I just know I can't go oh into full. Deep oh. spring until I'm not, I'm just pissed, you know, but I'll, I'll thank you. You've given me some really great suggestions that I hadn't thought of. So I will. Oh my God. I've totally lost you guys. I don't know how, what's happening, uh, but I can still hear you. There you are. Can you see oh, us? Hi. Yeah. I pushed something and I got into another don't place. My face. Not you. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Yeah, so you'll you'll, sorry, you'll you're feeling figure empty. it out. Hopefully, we can find yeah. a better remedy for you so that you can <gasps> oh, try yes. and get in. I've worked so hard. Like, I mean, I'm just like really, really cough drops. Like, I never even use cough drop. I'm not even a cough drop type of person. Well, so. be careful too because they might trigger more cravings for you. They might trigger more oh, sugar cravings. You could be totally right. So that might. Why you want chocolate? Yeah. So be super <laughs> careful, and if you, the more you give in to those, the more you're gonna crave. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, they're like hard candies with uh with you with uh oh, methylatum in them. That's all they are. So I know. I know. So and like right yeah. now, I'm good. Right now, I'm. This is great compared to like during the day in the middle mm -hmm. of my teaching day when I can't even 
like get my breath and without coughing. Is so, a lot of stuff blooming down there or wherever you live? It's right not. Now? It's I'm getting over a cold. It's not even. Oh, no. right. Okay. I don't think anything's blooming. Everything's. I'm just glad it's raining. It's raining, yeah. so that's good. Mm -hmm. No, I'll be okay. I see what you mean, and I'll um. I will stop licking me, not you. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, how are you doing otherwise? I know you've been feeling sick, but how are you doing, like, energy-wise? Or You look, like, thinner in the face to me. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm losing some weight. I have not weighed myself. I don't own a scale. Um, I kind of told myself that I was going to do the 90 days. Um, but I should weigh myself now that I'm in the halfway point. I have a doctor appointment on Friday, so they'll weigh me there. Um okay. Uh, energy wise, I feel really good. Uh, I don't miss, well, okay, it's a lie. I do miss coffee a little bit, mm -hmm. but I miss ah! more, like, the smell of it and the, just the feeling of it, you know, mm -hmm. but not so much, you know, energy wise, I'm, I'm getting out of bed a lot more easily than I was for sure, for sure. And sleeping better, you know, and, and just so grateful to not have, um, processed crap in my body. Like really it's huge. I, that's why I was Sandy. I think Sandy, you said, you said, I hope I don't go back to that. And I said, you won't. Cause I just don't think, I don't think we could after this, you know, like I just, yeah, I know. And then it, just think about it. If it's like the 90 days is up and it's like, I'm going to go have, you know, whatever. And then afterwards I, you just feel like crap. That's what I think. I would feel really like, not just <laughs> physically. I think I'd feel like emotionally like crap. Too. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you, you're in a whole different mindset at the end of the days, too. And if and when when I do go back and try different foods, I'm usually really disappointed. You know, you have these expectations of what it used to be, and it's not. Yeah. But I still, you know, I still have things that, that I used to like every once in a while. It's just, you know, I, I definitely have a different taste for things oh i it's only when for me it, or maybe for you guys too it's only when you're hungry like like i was in trader joe's on my way home and they were serving um in this the little sample area they were serving um some kind of really awesome cheddar grilled cheese sandwiches <laughs> and i was all <sighs> i said cuss word under my breath and i was just like no 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 it's like you know, it's just moments like that, but not... Yeah, not why does it have to be a grilled cheese sandwich? It was like this, and it's raining outside and freezing, and my daughter had just been in the pool. I was outside in the cold, and it was like this yummy grilled cheese sandwich on this sourdough. Mm. I know. Are they like, serving yeah, it with tomato like, yeah. soup? I, that yeah, that's what I was thinking. thinking. You know how they have Me that too. roasted tomato soup? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. so good. It's probably so full of sugar. Yep. It is. It Everything. Makes everything oh and by the way the chicken stock the organic free range chicken stock has carrots in it so i don't know what you think about that well That's you know it's ingredient. what what i was saying before is it <laughs> i'll leave it up to you you know it, it for some people they can handle a little bit of root vegetable and they're fine staying in deep spring some people can't some people need to go off you know, even tomatoes and right. some people, oh, before I forget, Sandy, we had talked about, um, Andy B, we had talked about the coconut milk because in the facts, the facts is different than the guidelines. The guidelines says that it's out, but the fact says it's in. And when I was going through it, I went back and, cause I remember them telling me <laughs> specifically, I asked them because I love it in my soup. And it, it is okay. Um, it, 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 a lot of them, a lot of the coconut milk is highly processed, so you have to be super careful. Um, you know, they prefer it's that organic you Trader Joe's. It should Sorry? be right. Organic Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, I think theirs is only just. It's coconut and, and wa water and citric acid, and that's it. No, oh, it does have no. citric acid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Eric said citric acid, or did I dream that? <laughs> <laughs> I think That's it's funny. Because it's, it is highly processed. 
um, they prefer that you make it yourself, which is kind of a process too, but so that's really up to you. You can choose to do it if you want, be really careful what's in it. I was going to not just to, because I think it's very sweet. I do too. It is sweet. I definitely had it. I got the okay when I was going through the challenge. I did coconut milk, not in huge quantities, but every once in a while, if I wanted to change, I had some in my soup. How um, but you don't have to put like, the whole can, right? You, you can just put a little you bit. Don't. So it's it's it, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys definitely, and the 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 they are gonna fix the facts, and they're fixing the maple syrup in that recipe too, Andy. Thank you for keeping us in line. Um, <laughs> it's good. It's good. They want you know the input because everything is just totally changing, and it's still up in the air, but. Um, so coconut oil, I mean, coconut milk, if you, I would suggest if you did add it the same, go into steep spring first. And then if you're later getting really bored and you want to try, see how it affects your body. If it slows everything okay. down, you can just go off it. I'm personally just taking it out because okay. I, will, um, I will sit and drink a quarter cup of it. And I... I have to take insulin you know, with, I do it when I eat, but I need to not because it, trust me, I'm getting, I'm getting one gram of sugar there every time I do that. Yeah. So. Okay. I'd rather try to eat tomatoes still and take out. What about that. coconut oil though? That can stay, right? Absolutely. And same with coconut water. The and you know, you guys know those frozen chunks from Trader Joe's? If you let, if you, if you put them, if you defrost them, they're great. They're just like eating a nut, but they're kind of um, with moisture. It's just like a fresh co It's a fresh coconut. It's a really yeah. good little snack, actually. It's not real sweet. It's okay. like just having, yeah. I mean, I put, I just put them in a bowl for two <laughs> minutes and then just have a couple. I just leave them out and then you can walk by and grab one, you know? Anyway. Yeah. That's awesome. That that's in the frozen section. Yeah, they're just little cubes. You get like four bites out of them. But I've been eat, trying to eat them over the like I've had them for a long time, and I tried to eat them frozen. I'm like these are just don't even taste no. good, you know. But then I defrosted one, and I'm like, oh, coconut, like fresh coconut, duh. Be careful, because you know? I know uh, a lot of the shredded <laughs> coconut they sweeten. Yes, but those get, are straight up just coconut. Yeah, awesome. Like they chopped it up right out of the fruit and froze and it. And the chunks, that's, the chunks. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. Yum. Mm -hmm. Very um, good. I had one. Oh, I had one question about. I can't. Can you guys help me figure out how to get to the facts or or where these oh. things are? I don't know where I'm going or I can't navigate properly. Or something. when you go. <laughs> And to see the video, when you go to watch the daily video uh -huh. from Eric, um, right next to it, there's like a little green thing and it has where you put in your measurements and, right. and, all, and there's the, the guidelines and the facts and those are right oh. there in that oh, little. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll check it out. And it has every week what the, what the guideline or for that. Oh, week, okay. You know, oh, that. wow. Okay. I don't know. What, what I, I don't even, I'm not even familiar with that. I need to get and, on that. Yeah, and Eric has another little video in there in the, uh, is it the guidelines? No, the, that's the food guidelines. It's actually facts. a video, yeah. The facts has a little video and it has oh, like okay. a bunch of, uh, he answers a bunch of questions that are regularly asked. So it's kind of a good place to go and in the facts the first question talks about the coconut milk that it's fine so it's kind oh. of funny <laughs> okay so i don't know if you can see on my phone but because mm -hmm. i know that you use your phone a lot andrea so um, yes. here's the phone and here's this little video the daily video right you scroll down to the bottom and then you find oh, oh, well, oh in okay there it's like the frequently asked questions all that stuff is in there and I'm like you, I never really paid attention to it. But if you go to that frequently asked question, he talks more about- Oh, that's where the, okay. Well, uh, I don't know why I didn't see is. that. Um, I mean, I've seen the green cube, yeah. but I've never seen the daily facts. Okay. So it'll yeah, be the weekly FAQ. The weekly okay. FAQ is in there. 
and there'll be a whole, they'll yeah. answer, he'll answer it in just text, but then he also goes over it in a video and he gives a lot more information. Okay. Um, and I am like you, I was like, oh, where's all this stuff? I know. And I went over and I'm like, oh, there's a whole video and he talks about all this stuff and right. yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, Thank I'm you. right there with you where I was yeah. like. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I can't find things. Yeah. So, hey, I, yeah. Uh, same page. I didn't know either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and now we know. Video, like his FAQ video for this past week was like 30 minutes, but he went into so much more depth than just the reading the answers. Like mm -hmm, he really mm -hmm. explained it. I'm like, so now I want to go back and kind of listen to the other ones to kind of see what he was talking about. Like when we had to give up sugar, what all was he saying about back then? And right. things like that. I love you know, that we get to keep the videos and we can go back and check them out if we want. And yeah. I love yeah. that. I think that's great. Yay. Yay. So you guys are all doing awesome. I mean, once again, you know, there could be a, a chance that next Friday, a lot of you are already in deep spring. Some of you might not be. Just be patient. If you're not flipping over and you're not getting that energy burst, don't give up. Don't give in. Keep, keep staying strong and keep, you know, don't, don't make... I mean, if you fall off, you can always get back on, but try really hard not to. You know what? Can I interject? Yeah. It's crazy how, um, it's crazy how, like for me, I know, I know that I can do it. I know that I can do it. I 100% I'm doing it. We're already halfway done. I mean, right. and it feels so good, but I can't tell you how many people, because I got sick twice in a row. And I don't usually, that never happens to me. I, I can't tell you how many people are like, oh my gosh, you're not hanging out with anyone. You're totally, because I haven't been very social. I haven't you're been very, I just kind of hung around. I'm hanging out with you guys. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. you're a bunch of kids every day. Oh, oh, well, yeah. But I mean, the adults, no, the kids don't, they don't even care about, I don't, no, they don't know. They're giving it to you. Oh yeah, right. So my system is weak, but what I mean is that it's amazing how people can start saying, this isn't even the right, you know, what do you, what do you, uh, just like in that little voice, it's like the little devil in there that starts to go, well, wait a minute, maybe I, and, but I know, I know in my body how much better I feel. And I know that I've never been off of all the junk ever in my life. So it's, it's an easy fix in my mind. Hmm? So, yeah. you know, I'm being followed by my doctor right now because my diabetes was out of control. Oh, so uh -huh. I didn't tell them that I was doing this program. What I did is I told them all the changes I was making as if I had decided myself, which I, I decided to do. Right. They said, I'm doing great. I'm making all the right choices. <laughs> and my one is half what it was. So I have a doctor telling me this is correct. That's so I thought, awesome. Congratulations on the insulin. I must have missed that part. That's it. Yes. I know. That's fantastic, so Sandy. I'm pretty stoked. But I just wanted to let you know that I never said what I was doing. I just right. said, oh, yeah, I'm not eating grains anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm not eating dairy anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not even going to go into the deep spring thing. What I'm going to tell her is I've, I decided that the only time I'm taking insulin now, check this out, is when I eat fruit and um, a little bit for my alkalizer. So I'm like, you know, I just decided to see what it would be like if I wasn't eating fruit for just a little while. Uh -oh. now, and she and was then, like, okay. No, not yet. Cause I haven't told her yet, but I will. Oh. It's fine. As long as it's my choice, you know, because the thing is, is that if they're like, what you're doing? You're so wild kind of guy, yeah. What <laughs> they, they get, they get really <laughs> scared about it. And, yeah. and I have friends that are doing that to me. They're like, I don't know if I agree with that diet. And I'm like, well, I take half the insulin I was taking. So That's I don't the know. proof in the pudding. So I'm really glad this came up because this does happen really quite more often than you would <gasps> think. But it is very common for friends and family to try to sabotage people. Or they do, to, yeah. It's very sad, but um, it, it is not uncommon. We hear That's that. why it's kind of better that you don't really talk about it with people. They right. go, well, why would they take out, you know, fruit? Why would they do that? 
I'm like, yeah, it's just too hard to explain. I mean, because yeah. it's a process. It's a thing. It's for you. Yeah. It is- yeah. I'll- Why? What do you mean you can't have cheat? You know, and it's like. Or I'm they want to even- come and tell you how you should be doing yeah. it. Well, no, yeah, you should yeah. be following the yeah. one type. Or you should whatever. go back on Weight Watchers because that was really working for you last year. Right. right. Yeah. At this time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't feel I, I. This is totally different than this is totally different. Yeah, so, and it's way different. At I'm Weight Watchers, to... I was I was felt like I was shopping for food, and my food mind was on food all the time. It's because yeah. I had to figure out what I was going to eat and what. I, so my my brain was all about the food. I yeah, mean, I and lost the weight. Sizes had to be so small. I don't um, know. I just felt like deprived. And yeah. then there was all that. Yeah. No. No, this is much, much, this is just fantastic. Yeah, well, and, it's completely but I different. I do find that I used to, remember at the beginning I said, why do I always have to eat till I'm stuffed? I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, I'm not like, either. I'm not. I'm, well, what did you say, Corey? Why do you have to do what? I, at the beginning I said, why do I always have to eat until I'm just so full? Oh, right. Totally. Right? And you, I think it was mm-hmm. you, Andrea, that somebody said, yeah. it's like a hug. Right, it's like and it was the first time in my life I ever Sandy. thought about that ever mm-hmm. as that being a reason why, and it's just not an issue in, right now, at all. It's just a food is for sustenance, and yeah, you know all I can say though, ladies, don't put too much avocado in your alkajizer if you don't have other things to even it out. Because it's you like guacamole. Know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I noticed that. I to work and I had no choice. <laughs> And it was my first prime add one. Water. I was like, oh. Add water to it while you're drinking it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes it's healthy. like, oh, what am I doing? I was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> Extra jalapeno. It always works. Oh, oh which, yeah. Andrea, have you tried the prime yet? Was you know, I, um, well, yeah, I, I think, <laughs> um, I don't know if I knew what I was doing, but I drank it and I modified it and I threw another avocado and then I was like, it kind of tastes like <laughs> guacamole salsa at, uh, at Taqueria. And yeah. then, you know, but I think that maybe I'm going to like it better with lemon and ginger because that's yeah. what I'm accustomed to. So it'll be that same flavor that I usually go with, with my juice drinks that I make, the lemon, ginger, apple, blah, 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 but, but without apple. So I'll just, I think that that's going to, but I'm going to mix it up. I might even get crazy and throw a garlic chunk in there sometime. Yeah. You know, oh. I don't know. Basil, parsley. Yeah. That sounds good. I yeah. like, I, I thought it was a little bit more snazzy because yeah. I was only doing like a quarter apple in mine. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was like, ooh, it's zingy, you know, yeah. as compared to what I was having. I just got to figure it out. I mean, I didn't follow the recipe because I have this tiny little thing that I have to, I can't just, it's not a big blender. I can't just put everything in. I have to make a section and a section and a section. And then I put that in my, uh, my uh, mason uh-huh. jar and then I make it, you know, so it's, it's all, every day. It's a little, it's a little different every day. Now that you have to buy a blender, you can get a blender. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so too. Yeah. I mean, I just want to put it all in the same thing. Do you, a, do you have a regular blender? I have a regular blender. I was making mine in a regular blender Is up until a... this past weekend. And okay. it was actually smoother. I got, and actually from my friend, an old um, Ninja where it's like the pitcher. And then yeah. you, you put the thing on top and then it blends it. Mm-hmm. And it's actually chunkier with that than it was with my blender. Mm-hmm. In my oh, blender, interesting. Think- well, I'll try my blender tomorrow. As yeah. long as Brian's not making one of those wild coffee drinks in it, we're going <laughs> to be fighting over the blender. <laughs> yeah. Cause he I makes that. What's favorite. that, that coffee with the ghee and the MCT yeah. and all that the bulletproof. bulletproof coffee. Yeah. He's all into that stuff. Yeah. My blender with the apple, the celery, I would cut the cucumber into mm-hmm. chunks and it would take a little bit longer, but it would blend the entire thing. So it, it can okay. Work. I'm going to give it a try. It's, yeah. you know, cool. Yeah. I'm not totally out. And I also have a juicer so I can juice. Yeah. And I could use the mocajete and smash my other veggies. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we or have just so much time on our hands. Just eat a huge salad for breakfast if you don't. If you're right. 
I mean, it's right. your blood work. It'll well, I eat, so, yeah, I, I had a huge, when I got home, I just had a big old bowl of cabbage and spinach and avocado and cucumber mm -hmm, and chicken. I mean, sometimes I'll do a, an egg on top of greens, too, for breakfast. I think that, it's mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I like that so, kind of thing. I'm doing that tomorrow. I like that it. sounds really good. A fried egg, yeah. and then it yeah. almost makes like the, you know, the yolk makes almost like the salad dressing on it. It's pretty yummy. Oh, yeah, you have to let the I mean, runny oh. yolk feature. And I use my everything but the bagel. That's I was, just gonna, I was <laughs> just gonna say that would be so good on it. And then you have dressing. Yeah. yeah. And I also Sweet. use, um, I make a dressing out of that, the mayo. I just add like either powdered mustard or that, that stone mustard that's just, you know, yeah. the one I read to you guys. Um, Sandy's mail was outstanding, by the way. I, it's your recipe, too. No, so yeah. you could just make you, a She used Dijon. A time, she used Dijon, though. I used a little more of that. Oh, my God. And your pickles are amazing. Everyone loves your pickles. We got to we gotta do pickles. I know we're not supposed to do so much vinegar, but her pickles killed. They were just awesome. I do. Mm. I totally pick at pickles. I like pickles too. And I know Eric isn't a big fan of um, fermented food and vinegars, but as long as you're not getting the really sweet vinegars, you can have a little bit. Yeah. So we I can do apple cider vinegar, right? We can do that. Yeah. 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 That's the one I would suggest. That's the, what she did. She did half water and half apple cider. No, she no, put, no. It's, no. It's too, okay. Originally I did and they suck. Mm -hmm. So we poured out this stuff and added water because it's it's two parts water to one part apple vinegar. Oh, okay. And I screwed well, up. And there's jalapenos in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was spicy Gar and just, <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. I love them. Yeah, but you could do also just the mayo with, add a little, I use grapeseed oil for my mayo and my salad dressing. Mm -hmm. I do it like flavor. you do, Melanie. I took your, your recipe. But then if you do salad dressing, add a little more grape seed oil to the to the mayo, add a little bit of vinegar, spices. Oh, and then you have a salad dressing. More yeah. mustard. If you want like a creamy salad dressing, you could even mm. add avocado to make it more creamy or just do it like that. I love that salad dressing. And Oh, you can make avocado, cilantro, and lime and make avocado like, like that. Yeah. That would be I avocado dressing. Like a taco. Right there. Salad. Yeah. Oh, all of this at once it's really good with fennel in it too the fennel adds like a little um i gotta get i saw that today and I it's fennel's a little sweet Me though too. i need to double check that because it might i need to double check that wait i got my little list right here i have it on my phone it's on the I list at the store it's on the it's on the list yeah it's good so yeah, fennel's fennel's in. It, that's yummy too. It's got a it's roasted like fennel's a pretty good. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. gone over, have we? Yeah, we have. We're over. Um, I'm sorry. I was just wondering if I could go because I haven't eaten dinner. Yep, me so too. Me too. Yeah. Me too. All, All right, you guys. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, Check everyone. in with the Facebook mm -hmm. if you need any guidance or any you know, lifting up, but you guys are all doing awesome. getting off the junk, the drops. Yeah. Feel yeah. better, Corey. I'm I, so no, sorry. I, no, me too. I'm so, it's just irritating, but you know what? I'm going to research right now. I'm going to get and get and, and steam your, works. steam yourself. Go steam yourself. Okay. I will. I really think that would help. I really do. I just think taking the whole week off would help me. Oh yeah. yeah that too. Yeah. I I'm think that kidding. would be good. I do. Melanie, substitute Melanie, teachers. Melanie. <laughs> Yeah. You're doing a great job and you guys yeah, yeah. are awesome yeah. human beings. And I'll see you all soon. All right. Thanks, Sandy. Awesome. Thank Deep you. spring. Deep spring. Deep spring. Deep spring. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye, you guys. Bye, Mel. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Hi, Mel. Hi, Andy. How are you feeling? Let me turn off my recording.